Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be installing the new Yak Attack double header with dual rotor grip paddle holders on my kayak. So stay tuned. All right, so today I'm going to be installing this new Yak Gadget uh, double header. Um, it has the dual roto grip paddle holders on it, as you can see right here. Um, you may ask, why do I want to have a paddle holder on a uh, pedal drive kayak? Well, I actually do a lot of snakehead fishing, which involves fishing in extremely shallow water. So there's a lot of times uh, when I can't actually use my drive. Um, so I actually got to use my paddle. Um, sometimes we had to get into really, really skinny water. Um, I can't actually use my my fins um, by having it on the hull and then doing uh, flutter kicks. But there's actually occasions where I couldn't even do that. So, um, and then also I got to sometimes push through uh, like pads or you know some thick vegetation and the. Um, uh, drive won't do anything for me. Sometimes I got to pull it out just so I can get through all that stuff to get to where snakehead are. So that's why I really want to have some kind of a paddle holder because um, on the uh, Pro Angler there actually isn't anything on the side, not like on the uh, Hobie Outback where there's a paddle holder. The Pro Angler actually has um, the holders on the back where you actually take your paddle apart and then you install them uh, back there. But you know, I need to have it readily available so I can. Uh, access it quickly when I need to get into shallow water. So um, that's why I really need something like this. Um, I've been actually waiting for a long time or they've been trying to figure out a, a way to actually put this on my kayak. But now Yak Attack actually has a really good solution for that. So this actually comes with uh, two different uh, track discs on it. Um, it says there's one for top loading and then one for standard. Uh, so I'm gonna actually have to try, see which one actually fits right on the um, track mounts I got here. This is actually the track mount. Um, it's the uh, quick track made by Yak Gadget. I actually did a recent video on that, which I'll link above so you can check that out. But I'm um, gonna try both and see which one actually fits. So to take it out of the packaging, I just have to undo this uh, screw right here, this thumb screw, which I did previously. And then you can take off the uh, first um, disc. And then now you can take off the mount itself. And then there's the second disc. This is actually, it's labeled on here actually. And then you've got a little washer here. Let me take the whole thing out actually real quick. Take the washer out and then the actual bolt. So the washer will go there. And then the discs are actually labeled. Let's see, yeah, so this one's actually the standard. You probably can't see that. And then this one is the top load track disc. So the difference is, uh, I'm sure if you could see it in the video. Yeah, so this one is actually, the little notches here are a little bit more narrow and these are actually thicker on this one. This is the top load, this is the standard. So let's see which one fits on here. So it's not the uh, top load, let's try the standard. Okay, looks like the standard does fit. It's a little bit snug, but you know, it does fit. So now I gotta put everything back together. I'm just gonna take, since I know now that the standard is the one that I'm gonna use, just take the bolt and then the washer and then put that on. Now I'm gonna put it back onto the mount itself and then put the thumb screw back on. Then now I can go ahead and uh, start the actual install. I'm gonna take you guys in closer to give you a closer look of it being installed onto the uh, track itself. All right guys, so one of the things I forgot to show you um, before I show you it on the track is uh, it has these nice bungees to help secure your paddle to the uh, paddle holder. So you can see it actually, there's two of them on each side. And to use them, you just pull this tab and then you'd actually just put it over your paddle like so. I'll show you the, that um, when I get the paddle on. So um, just wanted to show you that. All right guys, so here's my Yak Gadget 
the quick track this is actually the 8 inch version uh, I did actually do another video where I showed you how I installed the uh, XD version, which is a 12 inch. Um, its installation is pretty much exactly the same, but I'll provide a link to that above and, in the, and also in the description below. Uh, but this track is uh, pretty awesome because I could put multiple um, gear track accessories on it. Um, but really, it's going to really have this for the most part. I might put my flag on it as well, but we'll see. So the one thing to note for the insulation is to just be aware of the notches here because these notches are, need to fit right into the track itself because that's actually what will help um, prevent it from spinning around. And what I've done already is I've got the bolt the uh, appropriate length for me to be able to slide it into the, the track. Um, once you get it into the little track hole, there is a notch or right here where the bolt will slide into. So it'll need to be oriented so that it's uh, kind of front to back. And I'm sorry for the cicadas. Uh, they're still around. There's not a ton of them, but uh, they're still here and there cicadas. All right, so that cicada calm down. So here is the gear track hole. I'm just gonna slide the bolt right in and make sure that the notches line up as well. And then now I can slide it back to where I want it. I'm gonna slide it to the middle for now because I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna have it. I won't really know until I'm on the water and mess with it. But that's about in the middle, which is great. That should be fine for now. Uh, the other thing you can actually do with the mount is you can actually rotate it around. There's actually little notches on the, the mount itself that will lock it you know, wherever you want it to be uh, once you uh, tighten the thumb screw here. So I'm gonna actually put my paddle on real quick just so I can see where I want it to be uh, oriented because I have uh, actually a rudder control over here and I may hit it. So I think that's too far. I think right here. This feels perfect actually. So now that I know where I want it oriented, I'm gonna tighten the thumb screw down. And I'd probably check this thumb screw, you know, every now and then just to make sure that it is um, tight because it may get loose over time. And like I showed you earlier, the, they have the bungees to secure your paddle. All you gotta do is pull the tab, take the bungee, and then go over the paddle. Good to go, do the other side. There you go, so your paddle is nice and secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. The mounts on there, pretty secure. And then when you wanna use your paddle, just take the bungee off, put it in the keeper in the back, like I showed you earlier. And then now, you can pull your paddle off, and you're good to go. All right guys, so that was the install of the Yak Attack double header with a dual roto grip paddle holders this thing is actually really awesome i've been looking for something like this for a while because i do fish a lot of shallow water like i mentioned um we'll have to see how well it handles you know over time i'll give you guys an update about it um, in the future so if you guys have any comments or questions let me know in the comment section below and if you guys are interested in purchasing one i'll have a link to everything in the description below so if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, he broke my line.